Hello, Nathan Judah. I'm here with Warsaw reporter Mr. Joe Edwards. Joe. Uh, yeah. Uh, Warsaw won Harrogate three. Not the result we hoped for. That was that was a bit crap, really, wasn't it? It was, and uh, Warsaw a got exa- rubbish. Yeah, they got exactly what they deserved today. They didn't show up. Um, no, it wasn't a case that Harrogate completely played them off the park, but they definitely schooled them. They didn't. Oh, hey, them. Okay. Um, it was. Um, they, they, you know, they, they'd set up well. They'd pressed Warsaw. Mm. Warsaw in response didn't didn't win anywhere near enough second balls. They were very slow to everything. Very laboured. Obviously got a light consolation towards the end, but they had really lacked any penetration all afternoon. And, and Harrogate just just picked them off really and uh, come away with a well deserved three points. Warsaw, yeah, just simply not at the races. Yeah, well, why do you think that was? Because I mean, like I say, he made plenty of changes in midweek for the Forest Green game, so there were there should have been some fresh legs going back into that team. But like you say, they were laboured. They really were. They were very passive in, in the game and and allowed Harrogate to, to dictate the play really. They lacked a bite in midfield and I think everything came from there really and spread across the rest of the team. Of course Josh Labbady missing today mm. um, through suspension, five bookings. I mean that's, that's the second time he's got himself suspended so he's got to work on that. But when he doesn't play, Warsaw yeah. misses his energy and his, his, his enthusiasm in the middle of the park. Sam Perry got the nod, which was a bit surprised by. I did mention that I thought Alfie Bates would start. And Sam, uh, you know, t- to be fair, he, 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 he didn't get involved in the game at all. Got taken off at half-time, wasn't a surprise. He, you know, the game passed him by, really. Yeah. And um, Jack Eby was trying to kind of pick up the slack, but uh, I think he was trying too hard. Uh, and then I think that set the tone, really. Uh, Harrogate, I mean, they've had four attempts on goal, I think, and scored three goals. Um, they, they weren't brilliant, apart from scoring the goals, but they didn't really need to be. Sure. Uh, they, they, they just they, they sat off, yeah. they were compact, Walsall didn't really have any ideas to break them down, and then when Walsall was stretched, mm. they, they punished them. And um, there were some questionable refereeing decisions. I think the first goal... Especially us, us, the fans felt us today. If he got the ball, I haven't mm-hmm. seen a replay, but the suggestions are that he got the ball, gives a free kick, and you know, power sticks it away. But contentious refereeing decisions aside, Warsaw have got exactly what they deserve mm-hmm. today. They didn't, didn't deserve it at the point, didn't deserve all three. They were well off it, and um, it was a deserved defeat. Anyone come out of the game with any credit at all? Not majorly, really. Um, there wasn't really any standout performances. Uh, Altis Khan came on at half time, and I think tried to get involved, but yeah, it was a funny, funny time to be coming on, really. And uh, especially when the, that second goal went in, that the, the result was, had gone beyond any doubt. And then, of course, he added a third. Uh, Kieran Phillips comes on and gets himself a light consolation, which may help him because he, he's, he's, had, he's had a bit of a sticky patch recently. But yeah, all in all, I, I thought. Uh, you know, the, the centre halves weren't commanding enough. Ball backs didn't get involved moving forward. George Miller was desperately isolated up front. And then, you know, players like Tyree Shade had, had, had quiet games. So, yeah, nobody really comes out with this with major credit. The onus is on, you know, making sure they book up their ideas ready for, for ready for Rochdale. Uh, so, you'd have thought that Lavadi would come straight back in, of course. And it- yeah, exactly. Any, um, any other changes, do you think? Do you think maybe Khan might start? I now? think Khan's pushing for a start, I'd say. I think that right, right wing position is up for grabs. I mean, Taylor did touch on it afterwards. I think they're going to be boosted by Liam Kinsella and Connor Wilkinson being back in training as of Monday. I think if they're anywhere near enough fit, they'll be involved yeah. in some capacity next weekend. Yeah. But Lavity, and all, all of a sudden, I mean, like you say, you mentioned those names there, yeah. those three and, and maybe four, and, and, and then just, just got Khan in, but those three players, and also a different different beast altogether, aren't they? Yeah, and that, that's the thing about today. It's a bit of a strange one because they've, they've lost, they deserve to, to lose, they didn't turn up, really poor performance. But at the same time, I think they're only six points off the playoffs. It's, it's one defeat in seven in the league. And they had been building some momentum, so allowed to be too hard on them. Yeah. Um, I think hopefully this will just go down. And there's a bad day at the office. Mm. Fingers crossed they can respond next weekend. Also, one Harrogate three for the post-match reaction. Make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.